Hey guys, Eclipse 14 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Ludi the Silver Star. Alright, so I am in vain after passing the Cave of Trial, but I got lost towards the end of last episode as I didn't really figure out how to trigger Dash. After some running around and a couple of resets to figure out exactly what to do, I finally figured it out. The main thing we need to do is head south, and go to a place called the Silver Spire, which is just to the northwest. Cross this bridge, and inside you go. This occurs, which is weird. Also inside just a random herb in a chest, but more importantly, there's this girl. Talk to her, and this is Mia. Nothing special, just some guy Nash wanted to bring up here for whatever reason. Probably to burn whatever he wants. Don't they all? Speak to her again. And that's that. Now, go up the stairs, and this occurs. It's a loop. And when you do this, Mia says something else. Um, well then. Well, anyway, with that done, now what I need to do is trigger a couple NPC conversations, mainly because if you just go to Mia, Nash is supposed to appear right in front of this table, but he's not shown up. So we need to stall a little bit. We'll probably have to talk to a couple individuals running around the area. So, yeah, it took a while for me to actually figure this out. I was wondering what the hell to do. It's being done. Nash is talking to Galleon. He actually disappears after you talk to Mia, too. I know there's one guy you can trigger right here. Nice job, dude. Walk on in. He's right here. Yeah, sorry, I find homework to be bullshit. <laughs> anyway, we'll keep on rolling around here. That's a fortune teller. Inside here is the library where you can see a whole bunch of stuff. More importantly, there's this chest with a cascade ring. Alright, sweet. Don't have to spend a whole bunch of silver for it. And of course, just talk to more NPCs. Hmm. Well, I got the Dragon's Ring from Quark, I wonder. Oof. Well, the White Dragon certainly isn't. And that's actually the shift in tone compared to the later incarnations, in a sense, and it changes later on, so, uh, a bit of an awkward situation if you're more used to Silver Star Story or Harmony. Anyway, I think a few more needs to be spoken to. Yep, that's how I got my magic. Huh, neat. Fine, I think I spoke to enough. If not, I need to go a little more. Have I? Apparently not. Hmm. 
Yeah, I know it's been a bit boring, but you gotta trigger it somehow. Plus, some of them actually do say some funny stuff. I mean, it is working designs after all. So I need to speak to a couple more NPCs or something. I mean, it's a tough trigger to figure out. Alright. I guess I'll just walk on in and speak to one of the teachers or something like that. Huh, neat. Yikes. Alright, this should be enough, I think. If not, I may as well just cut some footage. I'd rather not do that, but... There he is, finally. Yeah, for like five minutes. And he just walks on. You gotta wait until he makes his move all the way there. Sheesh. And with that, the door finally opens. Head on in. And there's Galleon. Well, I guess we'll speak to him. Welcome to the Magic Guild of Vain, Alex of Berg. I'm Galleon, Premier of the Guild. My apprentice Nash speaks well of you. He says you helped him a great deal during his journey. You seem to be quite resourceful, Alex. Perhaps you can help me. One of the few voice-acted parts of the game. So I didn't even have to say anything. Alright, speak to Glum. Well, that shouldn't be too hard. I think I need to speak to Nash again. That'd be great. Bring in Nash, and well. Away we go. Oh, well, I think about it. Uh, I bought the bromide for him. Because it's a Nash exclusive. There we go. Alright. With that, 
Let's get out of here. That brings us to this teleporter. And up here, we just need to roll northwest. Northwest, and more northwest. I'll just hit that for good measure. Run down this way. There's Althena's Tower. Hey, there's Vane. Hi. Just floating around. This bunch again. Well, I may as well just nuke with Flamer and Thunder Wave. Keep on going. Well, these guys are... You have to use magic anyway. So, that's what I get to do. If I can even move... God, that felt warm. Why? I don't know. They all got too close. There's Lan. Yeesh. Anyway, I think in here is an event of sorts. An item shop right here. What have we got? Just standard stuff. Nothing crazy. Okay. Somewhere there's an extra scene. I'm just wondering which one is it. Nope. I think you actually need to talk to him in order to get to where you need to go next, but I gotta trigger something. See one of the houses I know. Down this way? Hmm. Where the hell do I go? Let's see this dumpster fire. Bit of an embarrassment, but yeah. if Null says so, I mean that's fine by me. This is the oh for God's sakes. Talk to this one. This is Jessica. What's that?
Now this triggers. Sounds good to me. But that Jessica joins. Yeah, this one's one of the more boring episodes, mainly because I had to trigger a whole bunch of event flags. Nor bed. Uh, eh. It's a frustrating one, in all honesty. <laughs> Get out, loser. And with that, we sail on to the island of land. Yeah, once again, I apologize for this episode being kind of boring because of needing to talk to a lot of people, but I just, like, didn't really remember what to trigger at what time. And it just, it took a bit to make that happen. Anyway, those are the caves. And this actually restores MP. I am at nearly 18 minutes. Uh, screw it. I'll just cut here. So I'll save the game, because I already ran like two or three times through Vayne just to try to get the triggers anyway, and I'm just going to roll with it. So next episode, we'll run through the caves of the Island of Land and deal with this false dragon master. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.